And welcome back, folks, to the finale of Let's Play Air Fortress. You can tell this level is going to be tough because we're starting out with 1800 health. That's before even picking up any power-ups. So what you're going to want to do with this level, like all approach stages, you're going to want to collect as many power-ups as possible, but you're also going to want to kill as many enemies as possible because they can drop power-ups like that. They can drop them randomly. I believe it's every 10 or 15 enemies you kill. Go back for that energy. Okay. That bomb's a tough one to grab. You gotta really just barely graze the edge of that one. The gray things will kill you, the blue things will not. Like these asteroids here. All gray things are bad. And I just died. Okay, yeah, I'm going to probably die a lot in this approach stage. And I'm not going to rewind because I don't roll that way. If I die, I'll just fast forward up again to up ahead to where I died. Wanna be careful with him. With these guys, you can sort of just stand right in the middle against the left wall and they won't touch you. With him, you definitely want to get inside of his line of fire before you before you try to take him out. Um, go over here so I can kill you. Okay. And now more of them are spawning. Wonderful. Okay, good. Alright, 2,815 bombs. That's still not enough. Yeah. We need more than that. Yeah. Wait for enemy to appear on screen before you grab that. You don't want to waste it, obviously. Okay. You think we're done? We're not done yet. We still got more missiles to come out. Nope. Got it. And that dropped another one. Awesome. So we can pull that. Now we can go through the left here. That works out very well. Otherwise, you have to shoot him from the left and then go down and around. And it's the whole thing. So thankfully, that smart bomb really helped us out. More brain planets. These jacks coming at us. Oh, die. Die already. Okay. More smart bomb. Okay. Now. Okay. Alright, 37. Whoa! Holy crap! Two of them at once? I don't remember them them doing that last time. Okay, that's a that's a great way to do it. Alright. And are we almost done? I think we're just about finished. Yeah, it gives us a long time to kill those uh, laser dudes. But that's it! We are now approaching the final air fortress. We are ready to go inside. And hopefully your skills are up to snuff because this level will make you hate yourself. We're finally here in the last level of the game, level 8. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your death. We only have 15 bombs. That is not good for this at this point. 37 health. 3,700 3, health, which is pretty good. So we're gonna, I'm going to want to be conserving my bombs. So I'm not going to take out that one at the top. I'll just avoid him for now because I don't have to come back this way. This level does not have too much backtracking, so you don't really have to worry about clearing out too many enemies. Although there is one point where you may want to. Really graze him? No, I can't hit him. Oh, and we have an astronaut. You know it's a bad situation when you're praying for a red one. This one I want to use a bomb to destroy by shooting it through the wall. More robots. Okay, these guys I'm just going to avoid. All right. So when we start out, we're going to want to skip this first elevator shaft and go down to the second exit. And then just wait for these robots to walk away. Just wait. One on the bottom is almost gone. Alright. And he's gonna get stuck in a wall. You'll see what it looks like later. A little more. And... Goodbye. So yeah, you can see them stuck in the wall there. Ooh, energy. I want that energy. There we go. He's not going to get stuck in the wall, though. Okay. More of these shooter guys going to appear. So I'm going to dodge the one on the, to on the top by just going down to the bottom. And damn it, I wasted the bomb there. Damn it. Oh, fire orb. 
Okay. Sorry if my commentary is pretty low, but god damn it, I hate this fucking thing. Sometimes you get lucky and he stays away from the shaft, but otherwise you just have to... You just gotta unload into him and kill him. And now you have to go back so that the, that crap disappears. Because if you go through that, you'll take damage, and you do not want that to happen. You can go back about two screens and it should be gone now. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So we head on through this shaft. Through this tube. And now we just continue on through here. Bomb. Okay. Stop circling around me. I am moving my feet right now. I am lifting them off the ground. I should have uh, set up a foot cam so you can see what my feet are doing with this damn thing. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go away from him. Can I kill him from the side here? I want to take out this robot first. So he can stop shooting shit at me. No, I can't take him out, out from down there. You can take him out from over here, though. Awesome. If you could take one of those guys out by just barely having him on the screen, do so, because it saves you the, the cost of a bomb. And if, since I'm only at six, yeah. Also, you want to skip that shaft up at the top. Because that'll take you back to the start of the level. And then you'll have to start all the way over... All the way... You have to start all over again from there. A couple of shield generators and a couple of robots. I was hoping to avoid that shot, but oh well. There's going to be a great astronaut right down there. Thankfully, I took him out with a single bomb and I got five. So that was a good trade. That was a good, even trade. So we just got to keep heading on down. Okay, wait for the shield generator to move out of the way. There we go, got him. Okay. Whoa. Damn, I was, my, my legs are still moving every time this guy this guy appears on screen. Damn it, I was, you figure eventually I would figure out how to dodge that thing consistently, but nope. Keeps fucking with you. Okay, you want to lure this guy down to the right, and then unload into him. No, don't stop aiming to the left, Hal. God damn it, Hal. Why don't you cooperate with me when I ask you to? And now we're going to head on through a, an area that we can't actually access yet. Well, we can. We just have to go around the other way. But the majority of this level is populated by shafts that look like that. Shafts that take you through an area, but you can't actually exit into it. And what the hell? That, was, that looks like a graphical glitch right there. The shaft shouldn't look like that. Go up and cause that to respawn? That doesn't look right. Oh, and I got some energy, so that was a good idea to go up there. Yeah, it's I, I guess that's designed into the game. But yeah, let's uh let's take a minute here. I'm going to zoom the map out and you can just see what this fucking level looks like. Okay, pull it out. Keep going. A little more. And there we go. This level is a beast. I'm going to show the overlay right now for the path you have to take through this. Was a child scribbling on this? No, that's the path you have to take to get through this level. So yeah, I don't blame you for needing a walkthrough like this. I spent like an hour just studying the map and looking which one item linked to another just to figure out the best way through this thing. So I hope you appreciate what I'm doing for you, because this level is fucking impossible. Well, I've beaten it, so it's not truly impossible, but god damn. They do not fuck around when it comes to this stage. It's like, you wanna, you wanna get to the, through the last level of the game? Fine, we'll make it the hardest fucking level in the whole game. That's how it's supposed to be. I guess that's a good praise about this game. Each level is harder than the previous one, so they don't have any levels that are ridiculously hard and the one after it is easy, like so many games seem to have, like the Omega Pirate in, in, in Metroid Prime. The hardest boss goes at the end of the game, people. Not in the middle. We have a gray alien. I die. Ugh, fuck. Let me just take these guys out for spite. 
Hit the wall already. Jeez. Okay. And now we head on up through this tube. Alright. Now we're going to encounter a new enemy. It was very fun to fight. Giant acid. Acid? That's not acid, that's a fireball. Giant fireball shooting robot. Thankfully, you can destroy those fireballs by shooting them, which you're going to want to do. It takes a bit of a bit of time to fight, but if you if you concentrate and just keep focusing on his fireball when he shoots at it, uh, you'll be fine. Let's see, we go down, we go through. Right, go, okay, so we go to the right from here. And we have another jumpy robot. You bastard! You made me miss a bomb, but thankfully he gave me five bombs out of it. Stop shooting me, you son of a cock! I say that a lot, don't I? I guess that's my catchphrase. Oh, fucking hell. How much damage did he deal to me? He must have done, done like 200 damage. Holy, holy crap. Stop making me miss a bomb, you cunt nozzle. I am running out of bombs now. Come down here so I can kill you, you fucking fire orb. Oy. Okay. Okay, so we just continue on through here. Stop shooting me with your homing missiles. Yeah, hit the wall, why don't you? Yeah, thankfully this section is linear. Um, which of these do I have to go through? And I think I did a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, I did. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to back up, and I will meet you back where I was before. So we don't want to go to the right, so I just destroyed those guys for no reason. We want to go to the left from here. I was reading the wrong line on my notes, because you have to go left at one part and then right at another. I'm running really low on health. Okay. So let's take this tube to where we're supposed to go. And we go to the right here. Yeah. Stop shooting me. Look at my health now. God damn it. And I'm and I died. I I came into this section with a thousand health. Look at that shit. And he completely annihilated me in like two seconds. So yeah, when you know he's coming, be careful. And bomb. Look at that. My health is now at what? 400. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, that was much better. He only dealt 200 damage to me. This is why you're going to want to have acquired as much health as possible before going into this section. Because the enemies here will annihilate you if you're not prepared for them. And even if you are, there's a good chance that they will. Get out of the way, screensaver. I'm trying to look at my fucking notes. Oh, yeah. Now I know what we have to do here. Um, first thing, you want to go down. And now the screensaver finally goes away. That was like ten seconds ago. You want to go down here and destroy, destroy this robot. Because you're going to have to go through there later, and you don't want him shooting at you when you do. Also, remember that you can boost yourself by using your shots in the other direction will want to remember that, because it's going to come in very handy very soon. Wait for him to get out of the way and kill him. And now this one, we have to graze a shot at the bottom, and there we go. So now he should not be bothering us when we continue. Okay. So we have two of these things to deal with. Thankfully, we can take these guys off screen. We just scroll them off screen, take out this robot... And scroll slowly to the left until it's just barely on screen. And shoot him. Now, a little more. A little more. There we go. So yeah, if you just barely scroll it so he's sort of on screen, but not really, he won't be able to shoot at you. He won't be able to counterattack. didn't drop any energy for us, did it? Nope. 
Yeah, either one of these will lead to the same place. You don't really have to kill both of them, but it's a good idea because they can often uh, drop energy or bombs for you. And I would have really preferred bombs because now I'm completely out. Okay, you want to get into this elevator and you want to head up. And that homing missile is just going to come right through our location, isn't it? Okay, you can't hit me from here, but the blue robot can't. So aim the right way! God damn it, Hal! Aim the right fucking way! There's a fire orb. Hopefully he'll drop a bomb if we kill him. Nope, nothing. Completely useless to us. Go in the fucking elevator! You are not cooperating with me today! Look at that, I'm, I'm less than 400 health and I'm only halfway through the level. If, I'd stop, if I could stop taking these hits, it would be really helpful, but nope. And I died. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to have to restart this level and get back to this point, so I will see you guys then. So as we work our way back, um, let's get the question of the day out. What did you think of the question of the day gimmick? Some people didn't like it. I, I thought it was actually somewhat obtrusive, having to think of questions of the day. And I think the LP should just be about the game. Anyway, tell me what you think. Okay, through this elevator, and now we are back to where we left off. And I have a lot more health at this point. I have like, what, 2400? Yeah, I have about 2400 health. 17 bombs. So, yeah, these damn UFOs. If you can kill them before they go off screen, they will not spawn into a gray astronaut. A gray alien, I guess it would be. Well, not, a, not a gray alien, but a gray alien. That was a waste of a bomb, but thankfully I got five more, so. Yeah, just avoid that thing if you can. Don't worry about destroying it because it's really hard to destroy. But now we have the last hall. This has, is ten, block, 10 screens high. This is the entire height of the map. Use your bombs if you can. Try to save them for those uh, eye shooting things. I really need to figure out what the, exactly those things are called. Damn meteorite hit me just barely in the legs. I wanted to hit you, not you red astronaut. Red ass astronaut. Aim the right direction, Hal! For fuck's sake! Why don't you cooperate with me today? Now we have a purple astronaut to deal with. And a, a, another fucking gray one. Die! G God damn it, fucking die! Not me, you! 1800 health and that asshole managed to take me out in like a matter of seconds. Okay, that went much better. You're supposed to keep your eye open so I can shoot you, you piece of crap. Oh, you don't like swearing? Then don't play this fucking game. This game is fucking impossible at this point. It's the only way I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop from killing somebody on the street. Hey, do you play Air Fortress? No? Well, you die. Okay. Now that this core is on screen, I can tell you, the exit of this level is broken. They give you almost no time to get out of here. If you do, n if you dawdle, if you stop for anything, you are not going to make it. In fact, you pretty much have to cheat in order to get through. Which I will show you in just a bit. I'm going to take this guy out with some regular shots because I want to save my bombs. Even though I have nine, I desperately need to save all the bombs I have. It's that bad. So you want to... You want to boost yourself to the left and then head down this way. It's much faster to travel like this by shooting at a wall. Even if you're, there's nothing on screen, it's marginally faster to go this way. Even if there's nothing on screen to shoot off of, it's still faster to do it like this. Now we have one of those. 
robots to deal with. Okay, and now we just keep shooting. Make it, Hal. Hurry up. Okay, as soon as you enter the pipe, pause, and that will give you slightly more time. Then you don't have to waste the time as the screen fades to the next section. That will actually pause the timer, the countdown timer. Avoid him, don't bother killing them, and just move on. Take out these robots, shoot to the left, shoot your way out of there. Dest destroy them if you can, without them boosting you down everywhere. Ignore the fire orb and just head on down. Go down, ignore the enemies if possible. And just go down. Take damage if you need to, but just ignore the enemies. And now the lights are flashing. Take out the purple astronaut. Ignore the bomb if you have to, because you don't need it. We're almost there. This is the last hallway. If we can just make it to the exit. Everything is shaking. There's the exit. Shoot the boxes. And we made it. That is the hardest section in the entire fucking game. I don't know who designed it, but you have to cheat to get through. We had like five seconds left. In fact, I'll, I'll show you. I'll back up and show how, and show how much time we had left. We made it to about here. If we wait... That was how little time we had left. But that is Air Fortress. We finally beat it. The final level in the game. So let's finally see the, the credits. You have gotta be fucking 